Hey, y'all. I can't play this whole thing. It's been a heck of a busy day. A sister trying to trade. Look at this video. A part of it. The passport bro. The most desired man on the planet. He begging. He busted. He hungry. He crying. Check this out. Not making fun of somebody's circumstance, but in this case, with, with him knowing how they are toward black women, child of jokes write themselves. Broker than a broke joke. Hi. You've been crying, oh my God, tears. <clears throat> okay, hold on, here we go. Stop talking for me. Y'all can see the tears right here. The little eye. Oh my, where is mama at? He getting the video ready for you. PSA. Past pro bro needs your help today. Missed my flight back from the Dominican Republic. Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Uh -huh. <laughs> what up, y'all? I cannot. I'm here, still in DR. I missed my flight last night. I just got off the phone from Spirit. I'm waiting on him to call me back. It's a hundred dollar rescheduled fee. Uh, I basically, I need to. I need a cash app, guys. I need a cash app. Let's try to get this fee together, man. I'm so sick right now. I'm sick as hell. Mm. I've been trying to call Kayla because I know she's like in the area. So I've been trying to call her to like set something up to where I can get like some actual money because I'm hungry. I have very little bread left. I maybe got like $15. I'm just calling on the subscribers now to see can I get another hundred to uh to get the rescheduled fee. They try to make me go for a whole nother ticket. I can argue with that guy. I don't got them customer service with Spirit for about had to be at least forty five minutes. I'm damn there. I don't know if y'all can hear. I didn't lay up, lost my voice yelling between yelling up here and then yelling at customer service. Yeah, man, this trip turned out to be so bad, yo. I took a man, this trip was so crazy, guys. I got spirit calling me back, but I just know I needed to hop on here and just see if you guys can help your boy out. Get your boy out. Can anybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? Let me know if everybody can hear me. Let me see. Audio, 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 audio. Audio, 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 audio. Yeah, I got it. Audio's good. Yeah, man. Stuck here. We were at this, at this hotel. $16 a day. I got it till some, uh, tonight. I'm about 10 minutes away from the airport. Not far. <clears throat> uh, somebody drop a comment. My comments are not popping up. Let me know uh, what's going on with the comments. Uh, yeah, man, I'm just trying to get the money together. Whatever you, I don't care if it's five dollars, ten dollars, whatever you can. What's up, yo? I need this uh, flight money to get back from Sasua. Stuck in Sasua. I need a hundred dollar reschedule fee. Uh, yeah, man, I'm stuck in the soup. 
This trip has been so great. I'm so mad. I'm about to be that for so early with my shit ready to go. Mm. Yeah, man. So I'm uh, I'm stuck here. Stuck here in DR. Stuck here in DR. Hit the cash app. Help your boy get home if you can. I had a, still a great time, but this kind of everything, a few things just soured the whole trip. Yo. God, a few things just soured the whole trip. This trip went from good to bad. This trip went from good to bad, yo. But, uh, let me know if y'all can hear me. Virgo, Virgo, God, let me know if you can hear me, Virgo. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop right there. Wow. That was... <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but this stuff, it, this is crazy. I don't mean to laugh, but I can't help. This is crazy as hell to take your limited funds self out the country. He said he hungry. And you know, I have compassion, but the jokes write themselves on this one. Listen. And I thought about it. I definitely been broke before. Hey, I remember <clears throat> years ago, and I got myself into a nice little position, and I only had like seven bands to my name. I mean, that listen, the seven bands was like everything. That was like checking savings combined was only seven thousand dollars, and I had got used to having a little money. And when I saw that, I panicked. I was like, "Oh my gosh, that's all I've that's all I've got!" Freaking out. Okay. And trust me, I've been broken in that. But I got used to a little change. <clears throat> there we go. This is, I can't watch, I watched, I don't have, I'm not going to play the whole thing. You can check it out. This is embarrassing. Pass, <laughs> pass Pope Bros. And if you notice at the beginning, he said, he called Kayla. Who's Kayla? <clears throat> what you want to bet, and I could be totally wrong. What you want to bet, Kayla, probably a black woman. All oh, when they bit, they get in the bind. Does he start crying? It's time to hit up the sisters for a dime. I'm like, who's Kayla? I'll bet you it's a black woman. He said he hungry. He, he crying. He's sitting up there with $15. So... You didn't know your financial status before you went to the DR? You didn't know your status was? You didn't know your finances? Life doesn't go as planned. It, it doesn't. Th things can happen. See, black women, this why the video I did this morning, you don't need no man. He got him stuck outside, himself stuck outside the country, sitting up here asking, begging, crying. What you crying for? I thought everybody loved the BBC. The DR need to show you some love. Go find some of the women. They can probably do a GoFundMe, you know. Hey, seriously. He said he, I mean, so he, he's got $15 and he hung, he's hungry. And he's been crying. I saw a little tear track before the video started. Weak. So much for planning. All this talk about the DR. Women can't wait to get over there. And this fool barely got bus fare. You can't roll, roll, roll your boat back over here. <laughs> Look, bruh. I'm sure the subscribers going to come through with the money. If not, I would say what he should do is maybe just like maybe um, maybe try to go see where the immigrants are going. 
Okay, and see if you tell them you tell them you seeking asylum. <laughs> oh, but you got a passport. Ah, darn. Tell them you seeking asylum. Maybe speak a little differently. Anywhere to get your butt to the back to the USA. As far as I'm concerned, he can stand over there. <laughs> go ahead and go find you a, a job in a DR. Get you three hots in a cot. Who would leave the country? If all I got is $10,000 to my name and that's it, I'm not leaving the country to go try to ball. No, no, because you a few steps away from brokenness. Trust it. Something happened, it, ain't gonna, it won't last you long. But you are a, I don't know his age. I'm thinking late 30s, early 40s. You never know. This Dustin might be a little early, younger. That's how I see him as a Dustin. Because sometimes that dust age. You only got $15. And up here begging. Up here. Stuck up in the... And, and you do know when you travel, they better come up with something real quick. Kayla, don't answer the phone, lady, please. If you're a sister, don't answer the phone. All I can say is, you know, if he doesn't come up with the money, which I'm sure the subscribers are going to help him. Your passport, I think it may be only good for a couple of days, for a certain amount of time, and then they'll kick you out the country. So whatever that date is, and you, you know, you're state to be there for however long, whatever, maybe they'll just, you know, put you on a little mercy flight. Why not the U.S. give my nearby and grandmother? But I don't know about for the chocolate drop on the screen. That's how I see the man. The jokes write themselves. The when I when I saw that this morning. Oh, I got to check on my trade. I'm sorry. When I saw that. See, another thing. See, black women, we, we trade. Yeah, we do. So, in doing so, that's how we make sure we're not down to our last $15. Okay? That's how we make sure we're not down to our last $15. I'm just saying. You, you know. That, that's what we do. Wow. This right here. Who you want financially? You don't qualify to lead a country based on your finances. But see, Dusty's, in my opinion, and that's how I see the passport boys. Yes, that's how I see them. Not in like the front, like you working with something. You don't got yourself over there in the DR, sitting up here, brothers. You trying to floss, knowing all the all the while that you are certified return receipt the green card done came back you are certified lint pockets larry turn them pockets out lint well plus the 15 dollars he got what i get i hope i'm trying to meet some woman you don't even have enough to feed feed to if they got two for 20 over there you still don't qualify for that oh this is embarrassing but see here's the thing this also lets you know this is how desperate he he is you women need to be submissive to $15, buddy. So it's enough. Collectively, you're costing a $50 billion annually. $50 billion annually. Now you're sitting up here, you down to your last $15. Remember Johnny Taylor? I just can't lose. Wow. And for those who don't know, when I was a kid, there was it was he was a blues singer. And he had a song called my last two dollars in the casino so this fool i'm saying this is his last fifteen dollars you didn't even qualify to fly gotcha <laughs> got yourself stuck did you not run your finances sir check that almost before you got over there or did you just wing it gotcha oh, man Oh, if a black woman had done this, see, they should have known when she went over there. See, these sisters, they're not good with no money. See what I'm saying? She should have known she had limited funding. Hey, I wouldn't send her nothing. If I was not concerned, he'd stay over there. If you ain't no me to help, look like you got yourself a new country. <laughs> if a black woman had done this, oh, they'd be lighting us up. She kept her behind at home. Now look at over the duck. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> the jokes right through sales. When I saw it this morning, I just couldn't believe it. And I was like, who is this guy? It popped up. You got to be kidding me. He needs a hundred dollars. 
<gasps> Woo! And I guess the subscribers can give him, well, they give a dollar each. I think it's got like maybe 2,000 subscribers. So, like I said, oh, he's probably, he might be home. He might be on the plane now as we speak. But this is so embarrassing. So embarrassing. The money he spent for this tr trip, he probably should have kept that. Because you, if you ask me, if it got to right here, you can't afford to go. It's not like your, how should I say? Not like your car was stolen. Your car, because that happened to me. So I look up somebody's charging. I'm like, what's this? You got to be kidding me. Somebody went shopping and the car is in my purse. So I'm thinking it must have been one of those skimmer things, you know? How much you spend going over to the DR? You couldn't afford to fly. Can't find your way back. <laughs> My, like those folks was doing, they were trying to hop on that American plane, try to, you know, scooch a little luggage in the engine. I don't know. Please don't do that. But seriously, this is. I can't help but laugh because this is self inflicted. You are so financially dumb. You couldn't afford to go. And that's about black women. Oh, we don't do that. We don't pull this stunt. Every now and then you might find one. But hold on, you're supposed to be a man. You're supposed to be respected. They don't want to let you leave. Leave them where? To a live asking for some money so you can get it back on the plane. Wow. He hungry. <laughs> he said he hungry. I wouldn't even have mentioned it. if you were I wouldn't where is your pride? Where is your pride? He hung. He's. I'm hungry. <laughs> he said he was hungry, and he been crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Maybe. I, I, yes, I am laughing. You can't make this mess up. Out of all the things that they say of who they are, what they do. Oh, he's back to me. He's back to me. He's back to me. Out of all the things they say and do about black women. Where's my dear? And then we come help you. Come get you. I saw you had one uh, in your place. Where did she go? Then I try to see this right here. I thought they, they, some of these men, they think everybody love me. Everybody love me. No, they don't. Everybody love me. Everybody love me. No, they won't. Can't you hit up some of the women you meet and you met over there? Maybe they can go ahead and, um, you know, hand you a few bucks. I mean, dang. Oh, that's what I forget. I forget. The passport, bro. Yeah, you got to pay. Everybody knows. That's right. They see you as a quick lick. Whose son is this? <laughs> got to call Kayla again. I'm willing to bet Kayla's probably a black woman. Black woman to the rescue. And I could be wrong. But, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a black woman he got a call on. Let me know what you all think. I, a hundred dollars, that's what you give to a teenager. A hundred bucks. That's what you give to a teenager. A hundred dollars. A grown behind man. Why did you take yourself over there? You didn't qualify to fly. Oh, it's embarrassing. Now, what do you think they would do if they came a person like this here? You, I'm just sorry. I'm not the expert. Again, I was about to cry when I was down on my last seven bands because I was used to a little money at the time. Oh, my gosh. That's all you got? I can't eat, let alone $100. Do you not have a credit card? He probably done maxed them out. And obviously there's no money on the debit card. Do they take green dot? <laughs> the jokes write themselves. How dare you get But I guess he was so desperate he didn't see another way. Again, he said it was he said he'd been crying. <laughs> Oh, this man is not financially sound. He's got fifteen dollars, and he's hungry. He need one hundred. 
Yes, he can eat those peanuts off the plane if he get, become a little fly. And don't forget now, that's only because they agreed to, you know, to uh, to reschedule it. They wanted him initially to buy an entire new, purchase a whole new plane ticket. This seems like a joke from a black Saturday Night Live, if there was one. This seems like a joke. It, it just seems like it, it has to be. If this is like, hey, you see that skit about the guy who got stuck in the DR? And he was, hum- yes, girl, I hilarious. And it's not, it's real. <laughs> I'm sorry. I told my husband about it. And he's like, oh, but don't forget, you know, he's the black man's friend. I thought it was funny. <laughs> I didn't tell him what the channel was because he might try to do something crazy. Like, I'm going to send that brother cash out. Boy, you better not. <laughs> you better not. Uh-uh, I didn't tell him what the channel was because he might go over there. Oh my, the young black man got stuck left. Swoop, woo! I'm gonna be hot. This here, ladies and gentlemen, I gotta go. I just, I would not laugh at anybody having more financial times, but this right here, you went on a flight that you couldn't afford. You were already booked, but when you, bruh, unless you had everything in your stock and the stock went down. Your portfolio, I doubt you have one right now, but you were already broke when you booked the flight, so why would you spend your last money? Why? I guess if he was if he was in my shoes when I had that little uh downturn money was low, he probably would have thought, man, I got seven bands. That's what I got. I'm going. <laughs> Not realizing, yeah, that's all you got. Yeah, because I was like broke. And I've been broken in that, just so we're clear. Oh my gosh. What kind of leadership, what kind of man is this? I hope he's not a father. Please do not care for the seat of, please. I, I can't do it. I hope he's not a father. Hey, Tyrone, was that your dad stuck on YouTube asking for a hundred dollars? Don't make fun of my father. Lord have mercy. Girl, anybody, <laughs> is this your man? <laughs> is this your man? <laughs> I wouldn't tell anybody, any woman that with him in the U.S., it, it needs to be not over, over, O-V-A. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. A grown man. Anyway, y'all can check it out. It's called Pistorello. He said he hungry and he been crying. <laughs> Trying to call Kayla. He said the trip turned out bad. I'm sorry. This I have never in my life. The trip turned out bad. You do. You never should have gone. You didn't qualify financially. The trip turned out bad. I hate to say it. Give him a reparations check. They said a true number should be, by some estimates, three fifty. Okay, let's just say the government just go ahead and give him three hundred thousand dollars. I guarantee you, he would be somebody like this here. They're not financially sound. They'll be traveling the world like they're a millionaire, and like so not, so, so not. And you'll look up about a year or two later. They'll be still sitting up. Hey y'all, ah, uh, I'm stuck here. You might see a video like this, and you're like, "Didn't you get paid? What did you do with your reparations check?" Not bad with money, whether it be a 10 million, 10,000. They, they are, no, I'm sorry, they're bad with money, not financially sound. But you want us to be respected. Sisters, once again, the video I posted earlier, that's why some women say, I don't need no man. <laughs> got yourself not down the street from your mother's house, you got yourself out the country. Were you trying to play ball and shot collar? Were you trying to wine and dine? Got yourself out of the country. This dude looks like, to me, he might be mid to late 30s or and maybe a little older. But as I would say maybe mid to late 30s. How do you, how you get yourself in the situation? Sir, you didn't qualify to fly. But again, again, my opinion, we can agree to disagree. That's what Dusty's do. 
dusties bring drama disappointment sometimes in this case they bring a little laughter dusties bring drama disappointment they bring hunger the financial implications is too much dust in the nation now this one here is stuck in a dr y'all hear me y'all see me. We, we see you and we hear you this is an embarrassment not just for the bc this is an embarrassment for black men i say leave him over there no <laughs> i should say that but i say hey let listen he's a passport bro the brothers said they got like that let the brothers go ahead and save him the black men they can get him they can get him back here they got some bucks the black men got some money they can get the little brother they can get the little brother back here anyway oh my gosh again this here i would never laugh at somebody's financial situation again i've had my little pockets light before again i was like when i had seven thousand i was like oh no this is all i got because i so you was really really super broke lint pockets larry in front again sir you already broke when you booked that ticket you were broke then he didn't qualify to fly the first time and now look oh lord uh yeah man i'm stuck in the suit <laughs> this trip is just okay i'm so mad i'm about to be the effort so early with my shit ready to go <laughs> Yeah, man. So I'm uh, I'm stuck here, stuck here in DR, stuck here in DR. Hit the cash app. Help your boy get home if you can. <laughs> I'm sorry. So he said, "Help your boy get home." I'm gonna stop because I can't I can't take it. I'm sorry. This is just it's embarrassing, but it sounds like it should be on a certain night live skit. Help your boy get home. So ladies, put your purse up. Put your purse up. Let the brothers help their boy get home. Why? <laughs> they missing one top row. I'm out. Oh my gosh.